Hi, this is Karen Turner. Um, today I'm going to talk to you for a little bit about Microsoft OneNote. Um, I showed last time how to use uh, the OneNote program from Microsoft uh, to c create different sections and I've got a few sections here in my own OneNote book. I'm just going to show you that I've got a new section has come up here and I'm going to demonstrate some of the things that are in the draw ribbon today. So if I just click on the draw ribbon and here um, you've got a number of different pens with different ink colours. It doesn't really matter which colour I choose, um, I'll just choose the blue. And I'm going to show you my very shaky handwriting. Um, look like about a five-year-old don't I so the way that you'd normally use this is you would use it on a pad and you would use a stylus to write with let's see what it makes of this um, even though it's pretty awful let's see whether it can recognize the characters of what I am drawing as words okay so the way we test this is <laughs> We ask it to turn the ink to text, and fantastic, it has done that. So impressive. Um, so that is basically what I wanted to demonstrate to you, that you can use OneNote to take handwritten notes. Now, if you're a person who doesn't type very much and you buy a pad with a stylus and you make sure it's a, a Windows-based pad and you get Microsoft OneNote, then you can take down your notes and they will, you know, it's possible to convert them straight away into text. Um, when you've got anything in OneNote, if I just turn that off uh, by selecting and type, you can of course erase it. Um, I've got different size erasers here which use a large eraser and you can erase parts of what you're, you're drawing and things like that. If I just draw on there um, a square and show you the eraser, I can click on erase it and it will erase like a rubber would on paper so um, it's pretty cool you've got a number of different shapes and so on and graphs and you can put on a grid so that things could snap to grid as well um, let's try a lasso select lasso select is just to generally move everything uh, there we are. and um, you can of course delete things rearrange things if I pop a couple of objects on top of each other here um, put in a little bit of colour to some of the objects and put this one in as a, a blue colour so you can see the difference there we go and um, if I want to rearrange those objects let's say we lasso those again both and then if I want to I could rotate them round could delete them and um, generally that's some of the things that you can do. Um, if I just stop that being a lasso hand for a second, one of the things that I found quite amazing with this is if I actually type onto the screen 1 plus 3 equals, as soon as I press the space bar it does the maths for me. Um, I think that's pretty incredible so it obviously will do very difficult sums so um, there we go um, pretty much do anything that you want it to do. It is very very good program um, and I think anybody who is studying would find this useful for putting all the notes into uh, whether you do that by typing them straight in um, or indeed by writing them and drawing them. So of course you can type straight into the program um, So this is OneNote. If I don't want it formatted that way, I've got the same sort of basic text functions that you'd find in Word. A little bit cut back perhaps, but I could um, change it and um, make it much bigger and uh, change the colours and so on. So we'll go for a different colour blue. There you go. Um, I can also use the highlighter to highlight things that I want highlighted. Um, I can strike through things. Um, I can make some text if I just do a little bit of typing over here. Let's just turn that highlighter off for a second. No colour at all. So if I wanted to, for example, start typing over here and 
I wanted to type H2O, you notice that the 2 is a little bit bigger. You notice that the 2 is the same size as the H and the O. So if I just select the 2 for a moment, I can make that um, be superscript, and that means it's going to rise up like that. Or if I wanted to say it's the 2nd of, of September, it's going to automatically do that for me. If I wanted to, to say um, CO2 for carbon dioxide, what I want to do is, is make the 2 go subscript instead of superscript. So that's all possible. Um, if I like the way that I formatted something, I could copy that formatting there um, with the Format Painter and format something else on the program the same way. You can obviously do all the normal cut, copy and paste. If I just paste that in there, the options that I've got is to keep the source formatting or to merge it or to keep the text only or just to have it as a picture. So if I just keep the text only, you see that it's returned the value in where I've pasted it, just as plain text again. Um, if I don't like the formatting of something, what I could do, if I take that little bit for an example, is I can just clear the formatting on it and that again returns to the standard default text, which on this machine is Calibri 11. Um, so have a go with that, see what you think, and uh, I'll probably do a few different vlogs on little aspects of OneNote. Such a useful program.